questions to both teams. Uh, Halftime means you get a few minutes to... You get a half time means you get a few minutes to rest your brains. I get a few minutes to rest my mouth, and we get some information from my esteemed co-host, the Pat to my Vanna, the Bonnie to my Clyde, oh. Mary Lahammer. Mary, I'm blushing, Ken. Thank you. <laughs> As we give our brilliant contestants a chance to catch their breath, I have some info for you at home. At some point in the second half, you will hear this sound. Sound. There it is. That honk. <laughs> well, that is your cue to play along at home. Ken will ask you a question and you'll jot down the right answer. We're calling it the Play at Home Challenge. At the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with your right answer. Before we get back to the game, let's quickly check in with our judges and make sure all the scoring has been on the up and up. Judges, how's the scoring gone? Perfect? It's been good. Perfection. Yeah. It's, it's been a great round. It's no a good game. So far. Wonderful. Okay. Well, let's send it back to Ken. Thanks. Thanks, Mary. It's a good thing we have three people, by the way, to do that little <laughs> thumbs up. It's, a, it's an important job. Thanks to our August judges, thanks to our players. If there are no further complaints, we'll begin the second half with our next toss-up. Sergei Vita and Komaru Komura Jutaro signed this treaty that transferred a lease on the Liaodong Peninsula, ceded the South Manchuria Railway, and split Sakhalin Island. Teddy Roosevelt received the Nobel Prize for mediating for 10 points. What 1905 treaty ending the Russo-Japanese War? And sure, Mike of CDH, go ahead. Treaty of Da Nang. Uh, no, that's not correct. Minnetonka, do you want to take a similarly wild, uninformed guess? <laughs> yeah, Eric. The Manchurian Treaty. No, both good guesses. It's the Treaty of Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Next toss-up. A dessert made of layers of pastry and custard cream. A 20-franc gold coin minted from 1805 to 1800. That is Bob of Creighton Durham. Napoleon? They're both called Napoleons. That's correct. 15 points. 15 points on your bonus, and this toss-up for 10 points, sorry, this bonus, for 10 points each, name these southern women writers. Her local color stories, set among the Creoles and Cajuns of Louisiana, include The Story of an Hour and The Awakening. Pearl Buck. Captain? Pearl Buck. That's Kate Chopin. Her chronicles of Lestat began with 1973's Interview with the Vampire. Anne Rice. Anne Rice is correct. This Georgia Catholic favored religious themes in books like Wise Blood and A Good Man is Hard to Find. Flannery O'Connor. That's correct. 20 points for your women Southern writers. <laughs> Toss up. This alkali metal was first isolated by electrolysis of its hydroxide in 1807 by Sir Humphrey Davy. A dietary deficiency of this metal, or loop diuretic use, can cause hypokalemia. For 10 points, name this. That is Mike of CDH. Iron? No, minus five, I'm sorry. I'll complete it for the other team. For 10 points, name this element whose hydroxide is potash and whose atomic symbol is K. That's Drew of Minnetonka. Potassium. Potassium's correct for 10. Your bonus. Shiloh was the first Civil War battle with over 20,000 casualties. For 10 points each, name, first, the general and future president who led Union forces at Shiloh. Grant. Grant. Grant is correct. The state in which the battle occurred, along with the battles of Forts Henry and Donaldson. Yeah. Tennessee. Is correct. The Confederate general who took over after Albert Sidney Johnston was killed. A year earlier, he had directed the shelling on Fort Sumter. No, P.T. Beauregard. Captain? P. T. Beauregard. Defer to Peter. P.T. Beauregard. I'll defer to the judges on this. Yes, P.G.T. Beauregard is correct. 30 points on your bonus. <laughs> Very nicely done. Cutting the lead to only 15 points. Your next toss-up. Its author's secretaries, John Nicolay and John Hay, were given copies of this work, while three other handwritten ones were distributed for charity. It followed Edward Everett's two-hour oration, opening a military cemetery. For 10 points, name this speech. That is Sean of Minnetonka. The Gettysburg Address? The Gettysburg Address is correct for 10 points. And your bonus. ATP is generated when oxidative phosphorylation occurs in this organelle, which has inner and outer Corpus. membranes for 10 points each. Name this powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria. Mitochondria. Is correct. What mathematical term for an array of numbers is also used to describe the substance that occupies the space inside matrix. the inner membranes of mitochondria? The matrix? Yes, you are inside the matrix. These folds in the inner membrane increase the Christe. surface area available for oxidative phosphorylation. Criste? Yeah. That's correct for 30. <laughs> and that means I don't have to say oxidative phosphorylation again. Next toss-up. This political leader of the so-called Bolivarian Revolution was briefly deposed in April 2002 after trying to nationalize his country's... That is Sean of Minnetonka. Hugo Chavez. Is correct for 15 points. 
a chance to widen your newfound lead, your bonus. His poems include a patch of old snow, dust of snow, and stopping by woods on a snowy evening. For 10 points each, name this 20th century American poet whose surname itself suggests snowfall. Robert Frost. Is correct. In stopping by woods on a snowy evening, the speaker posits that his horse must think it queer to stop without this kind of structure near. Captain? Hitching post? Without a farmhouse near. In this, in this springtime frost poem, it is suggested that, quote, good fences make good neighbors. Mending wall. Mending wall. Mending wall. Mending wall is correct. 20 points on your bonus. Next toss up. <laughs> this author translated David Strauss's Life of Jesus into English before turning to fiction. She also wrote about Judaism in her last novel, Daniel Deronda. For 10 points, name this Victorian who created Maggie Tulliver in The Mill on the Floss and Dorothea Brooke in Middle. <laughs> That is Sean of Minnetonka. George Eliot. Is correct for 10 points. <laughs> Your bonus for 10 points each. Give the word or phrase that best describes eggs prepared by these methods. Crack the egg and immerse its contents in very hot but not boiling water. Add vinegar to prevent the egg white from spreading out. Poached eggs. Poached. Is correct. Put the eggs in a pan of cold water and simmer for four to six minutes. After four minutes, the white will be set though the yolk is still runny. Captain? Sure. Sunny side up. Uh, that is soft boiled. Yeah. Fry the eggs on both sides, but leave the yolk liquid. These are also called dippy eggs, or sunny side down. Mm -hmm. Captain? Over easy. Is correct. Nicely yeah. done for 20 points. Yeah. <laughs> that sound means this is the play at home challenge. Listen very closely and jot down the correct answer to this toss up for both teams. This man's plan to build 10,000 muskets for the government took over 10 years, but retained the contract with an 1801 demonstration of the value of interchangeable parts. That is Mike of CDH. Eli Whitney. Is correct for 10 points. You just missed power. This is a great chance for you guys to catch up in the waning minutes of the match. His nickname referred to the little boots he wore as a child for 10 points each. Name this mad Roman emperor from AD 37 Caligula. to 41. Caligula. Caligula is correct. After Caligula was murdered, the Praetorian Guard selected this man, who would later be the Claudius. subject of Claudius is correct. Claudius was the nephew of this second emperor, who ruled from AD 14 to AD 37. Augustus. That's Tiberius. Uh, 20 points on the bonus. Toss up. The spire of this building on the former site of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel was for mooring zeppelins. Upon its 1931 completion, it was christened with the nickname of New York State. This is Mike of CDH. The Empire State Building. That's correct. You guys are making a run. Your bonus. <laughs> for 10 points each, name these stars. First, this star in Ursa Minor is often called the North Star because it is, is, it is, because it is closely... Is correct. Although this is the beta star of Orion, it is almost always brighter than the alpha star, Betelgeuse. You've heard of Bob? Alpha Centauri? It's Rigel. After the stars of Alpha Centauri, this is the closest star to the sun. It has the largest proper motion of any known star. No idea. Just pass. Pass. That is Bernard's star. Ten points on your bonus. Next toss-up. Pencil and paper ready. Use 22 over 7 to approximate pi. A right circular cylinder of unknown volume has a height of 7 feet and a radius of 10 feet. The formula A equals pi r squared h might help one solve for the volume. <laughs> That is Eric of Minnetonka. 700 pi units cubed. I'm sorry, I don't believe I can accept that. For 10 points, that's minus 5. For 10 points, give the cylinder's volume in cubic feet. This is CJ Rydberg of CDH. 100 pi cubic feet squared, or cubic feet. It's 2,200 cubic feet. The question instructed you to use 22 over 7 to approximate pi. So no points uh, for you on that bonus. Next toss, on that toss up. Next toss up. This man's poetry collections include This Earth, A Poem, and The Marble Fawn, while his story collections, These 13, includes Dry September and A Rose for Emily. For 10 points, name this Mississippi author whose stories Delta Autumn. This is Bob Jamison of CDH. William Faulkner. Is correct for 10 points. You guys can take the lead on this bonus. A crippled boy is miraculously healed in a 1951 opera after he and his mother receive the title Night Visitors in their home for 10 points each. First, those visitors from whom the boy's mother tries to steal gold to help her hungry child turn out to be what biblical figures? Angels? Yeah. Captain? Angels? Those are the magi or the three wise men. Second, name that boy who offers his crutch to the Christ child. Tiny Tim? Yeah. Little Tim. Captain? Little drummer boy. <laughs> that is Amal. He was drum free, I believe. This Italian born American composer wrote Amal and the Night Visitors. 
Captain? Verity. That's Giancarlo Minotti. That uh, sound, which I'm sure helps your concentration, means we have only one minute to go on the round. This will probably, probably be our final question. Its smaller islands include Pulau Tikong and Sentosa, while its main island is south of the Johor Strait and linked by a bridge and a causeway to the Malay Peninsula. For 10 points, name this island. This is Bob Jamison, Creighton Durham Hall. Singapore? Is correct oh, for 10. Wow. This is as close as it's going to get. You guys need 30 points on this bonus to win. Any fewer, the win goes to Minnetonka. For 10 points each, name these territories China has taken over since 1949. This country was invaded by the Chinese army in 1950. Nine years later, the Dalai Lama went into exile. Tibet. Tibet. Is correct. Since 1997, this former British colony has been a special administrative region of China with its own government under the one country, two systems policy. Hong Kong. Is correct. It all comes down to this question. This former Portuguese colony became a special administrative region of China in 1999. Macau. Defer to Bob. Macau. Bob is the hero. Macau oh. is correct. <laughs> well done, Creighton Durham Hall. 30 points on that final bonus means the upset kids eke out a victory against Minnetonka High School. And they'll go on to the next round in their quest to win the inaugural face-off championship and a trip to the National Academic Quiz Tournaments Championship to be held this June in Chicago. Thanks to both teams for being such good sports and for one of the best games I have ever seen. And, and to what do you do with your answer to the Play at Home Challenge? Here's a website for you to go to, tpt.org, and look for the Face Off Minnesota button. For our sponsors, Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, and with special thanks to the Star Tribune, thank you for watching. And tune in again next time for Face Off Minnesota, the High School Quiz Championship. Minnesota, the High School Quiz Bowl Championship is brought to you by Minnesota's Taco Bell and Pizza Hut restaurants, supporting youth brain power. More at borderfoods.com. Additional support by Star Tribune. All the news you want on the dot.